and welcome to my channel. I'm the Angry Simmer and today is the first day of Fixer Upper Willow Creek. If you didn't watch yesterday's video, go back and check it out. It's got Chip and Joanna Gaines and me telling you about what we're doing here. This is my very first series on YouTube with The Sims and I'm pretty excited for this. I'm a huge fan of Chip and Joanna Gaines and the TV show uh, Fixer Upper on HGTV and the idea here is that Chip and Joanna Gaines have moved to Willow Creek and they are starting their business all over again here and they're going to be remodeling and making homes beautiful for their new clients here in Willow Creek. I started with the small awkwardly shaped house here because that's what Chip and Joe do as well, right? They take ugly tiny houses and make them into beautiful well laid out homes for their clients. Um, this one was probably a great warm up. I feel like I'm getting better and better each time I make one. I, If you ever look at the way that I build and decorate anyways, you can probably tell that I'm a fan of Chip and Joanna just because I use the elements that they use, you know, shiplap and subway tile and dark wood floors and lots of greenery. I do have a little bit a harder time being as ornamental as Joanna is. So she adds a lot of things to her designs that I just don't think of because I'm a very practical thinker. So this has been a challenge building and designing like them. With this first one, I tried really hard to stay with like some of the low budget ones that we've seen on Fixer Upper where the people don't really have a lot of money to add an extension. But at some point, I just got to where for me personally, it made more sense to... I don't know, add an extension. So I actually cut out a lot of footage right here. I did some really, what I liked, or what I thought was really good um, landscaping, and I was so proud of it, and I was like, well, it doesn't make any sense to show you guys this landscaping if, you know, I'm not going to do anything. So you can kind of see it over there with a tree. Um, but I clear it all out, and I save you the time of watching me clear all of that as well. <laughs> But, and then here, a lot of times Chip and Joe just have the floor run all the way through to make the space look bigger, especially in really small houses like this. And I thought, you know what? That's a great idea. Let's do that. I feel like they also would have maybe moved around the walls a little bit more to give more space back there. But eventually, like I said, I go, eh, we really have to just let it go and add this extension and say maybe the homeowner's grandmother said, hey, I really want you to have a bigger house and it's not going to have enough space for my great grandkids in there. So we're just going to give you a little bit of money, maybe a $10,000 boost or something. And th I think this is the part here where I'm like, you know what? No. Nope. Oh, no. It was once I put in the kitchen because I make fairly large kitchens. I was just like, nope this has to go. I have to put in this extension. There's no other way to get around this. I will say also, since we're looking so much at this flooring in the bathroom, I love that tile and I cannot for the life of me figure out where I got it. So if anybody recognizes that, that's with a group of other tiles that are like black and um, kind of marbly. And, but at the same time, like there's, um, what is that stuff called? Not terracotta, but like travertine flooring because I watch a lot of HGTV. Anyways, um, who else watched, uh, they got Flipper Flop in California with Tarek and Joe, not Joanna, ugh, Tarek and uh, Christine Alamusa. And we're like, oh no, if when they decided to get a divorce, I was so upset. And then people started saying that Chip and Joanna were going to, and I was like, I give up on love, but Chip and Joe are fine. No problems there in their marriage. But I was pretty, I was sad for, um, Tark and Christina, just because they just went through um, in vitro fertilization so much. Oh, sorry. If you hear the noise, I have my window open because today the high is like 61 here and I'm super excited. If you didn't watch my fall sim, <laughs> I was a rather angry little character yelling about it not being cool enough for me. And today it's 61 degrees. I'm happy about it. Tomorrow will be 81 again because we have a saying here in Missouri, if you don't like the weather, don't worry. Just wait till tomorrow. It'll be different. Anyways, but so back on Tarek and Christina, I actually follow them on Instagram and, you know, I was, I was sad to see their marriage not work out for them because, you know, they just gone through in vitro to have their son and just a lot of, a lot of stuff for them was going on. Tark's uh, health issues, his back, uh, the start of thyroid cancer that actually a viewer caught for him, which was amazing. Yay for nurses paying attention to HGTV, right? Uh, but 
you know, you look at all that and you're like, you came through so much, but maybe all that was just, you know, it's too much on, it's too much to handle. They have so much going on. And while I was, I was kind of disappointed at first because I felt like they really seemed like they got along and they really had their kid's best interest at heart. I realized that sometimes the best thing for a family is exactly what the parents decide to do. And it's going to be a lot healthier for the kids, for the for Tarek and Christina to be healthy and happy and in, you know, in a different relationship. So I was so happy about that uh, awning, by the way. I moved the, the front door out one extra tile because that was a really, really wide front porch, by the way. But all it did was cause me to have to fix it, like turned one part green. And eventually I got there and figured out how to fix it. But I didn't have to redo a roof. I was so happy. And um, looking at this, I kind of was like, oh, once I did that extension, I didn't really have to add that extra room. And I didn't, it wasn't that much extra room, really. Here's me trying to put the TV here and realizing that they couldn't use those other three stools if I put a couch there. But I was going to put the biggest TV ever. And here's me giving up, I do believe. Nope, I'm still going to try it, aren't I? Oh, wow, guys. Like I said, I'm growing. I'm learning as a builder. I'm way better at decorating. Well, you know, this is like the first apartment you ever had kind of situation right here. It just, you know, oh, I do show deleting all of that, don't I? I could have sworn I cut this out. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. So I tried to keep some of my gardening in there. I really did. I wanted so badly for that to stay because I really loved how that turned out. Wow, that trash guy is just going to hang out right next to my window all morning, I guess. <sighs> that's that's something that I'd like to rant about a little bit. I love the fact that I don't have to drive my own trash out to the middle of nowhere land because back in Kentucky where I'm from, we had to do that. Um, but as convenient as it is to have somebody to come and like pick it all up for us. They are not on any sort of set schedule. They just, you know, do what they want, apparently. And so it'll be sometimes my neighbors and I are waiting until everyone gets home from work before they even start picking up trash, which is kind of annoying for us because, you know, there's kids coming home and parents coming home all at the same time. And, you know, it just, and the trash people are there. Like, come on, guys. You know, it's way too congested in the suburb to have you guys coming around all the time. Just knock it off. Come at the time you're scheduled to be here. Do what you're supposed to and it, you know, life will be great. It's okay. Um, I do kind of feel like this extension looks a little funny until I put that tree there. But, you know, a tree fixes everything. <laughs> My husband and I are actually having this discussion. There are a couple trees in our backyard that are probably not super healthy and when they drop their leaves they're dropping them into water supplies of ours and I love them and I want them to stay because I love trees and they kind of look like this they've got the white bark I love I love that but he thinks they're gonna fall on the house or have some sort of issue so much like this tree, we're going to have to get rid of them, which does not make me happy. The joke in our family is that I'm kind of a tree hugger. I was a vegetarian for 11 years and uh, pretty, pretty involved in, well, not, uh, that's kind of a lie. I, I like the environment. I like, you know, my grandmother taught me to garden whenever I was like three years old. I like hanging out with nature, but, you know, being a vegetarian didn't work out so well for me. By the way, if you ever see, like, my game, feel, it looks like the video jumps a little bit. My game is pretty slow. It's still faster, like, way faster than Sims 3 ever was. But it can it can take it a minute to load up and do things. <sighs> so, I'm so sorry, guys. Anyways, that was my awkward yawn. But, anywho, so it takes it a minute because I've got, like, 10 or 12,000 CC files, so... Bear with me. I do my best to not have you guys have to deal with that. And on, you know, on this journey that we're going on together, I, uh, I'm learning more on how to edit. So I think I'm pretty, I'm doing pretty good for somebody whose education's in the medical sciences and not media arts. I'm trying. You know what? Looking at this, I wish that the, um, 
those pillars on the front porch came in like a plain white version so that I could just put them in there instead of having something that's completely different in the house because I feel like continuity would want those to travel in but I don't want blue ones inside the house because the house you know on the outside it's cute but the inside it's kind of like this isn't an arts and crafts sort of style in here. By the way, that is a real architectural style. Look it up. It's fabulous. <laughs> I'm ridiculous some days. Anyways, um, I did have a little bit of trouble choosing a rug. I think it's because I have so many. But eventually I land on this one, which is probably one of my favorite rugs in the game. I don't know why I really go through many others because I usually end up using this one or the furry one. Um, I will say in the comments, please leave. If you saw that uh, storage unit that I put in the corner over there, not this one, but the one right before it, I am looking for a storage unit that looks just like that. And while I know I got that from the person who does Ikea stuff, Ikea doesn't have that right now, or at least not at my Ikea in St. Louis. So let me know if you know where I can find that because I really, really want that for my living room. I uh, We have a sunroom off of our kitchen as well as like our living room, which it sounds fa it's really not that fancy but um because we finally like got floors in there and like a ac unit because that part of the house well the original owners built that at the same time they built the rest of the house they didn't continue the um heating and air cooling or air conditioning <laughs> out to that part of the house i don't know why that was the most ridiculous thing to me i maybe they ran out of money i don't know but either way i feel like if you were gonna put a room in why would you not put heating and ac this is not the northeast you do not have any point where a room full of windows can be just fine for you to be in it because it's freezing cold in the winter and it is boiling hot in the summer it does have like a little um like a little i guess stove style fireplace out there which will probably light around christmas time when we put the tree out there because we have to guard it from the cats <laughs> it has like exterior doors going to it too so we originally thought like maybe there was two owners before us and one added a like the originals put a porch in there and then the second owners enclosed it and that's why there's not heating ac but no like our, one of our neighbors was like no those people own that house always you know you guys are the second owners so we don't know what was going on with that but either way <laughs> we ended up this summer finally buying a um window unit I wanted to get something that was like little and discreet like when Craner and Tia did their walkthrough of the offices Tia or Craner showed his combined heating AC unit that he puts in his office I wanted one of those but the reviews on those are horrible and my husband and I are kind of a slave to any sort of review like if more than probably like if it's got a 2,000 reviews and more than 100 people said it was horrible then we're not gonna buy it if you know there's uh, 20 reviews and a quarter of those. Basically, if there's a quarter of the reviews that are saying that it's horrible, we're not taking a chance on it. So we went with a window unit, which I think is horrible looking anyways. It does a great job, but it doesn't have heat. It just says AC. So that was like one box that I didn't like. But anyways, uh, now we can finally use it. And we had this like what I call princess chair. It's a chaise lounge in the living room and we moved it out into the sunroom because that's where it was originally for but we had to like we when we bought this house we pulled up the floors and we um put in a new bathroom in our bedroom and we did new paint and shampooed all the carpets you know general maintenance stuff when you buy a house that isn't you know in great shape anymore so <laughs> we the sunroom was kind of one of those things where we didn't have to have it ready at any point. We could close the doors. There were curtains on the doors that went to it, so it hit it a little bit. So, you know, and we never really went in there except for um, if we had a family party going on where we needed more space or we had, like, Christmas and we put our tree out there because, like I said, we have to protect our tree from our cat. And actually, um, I was super excited. Last year, I didn't think it was going to happen. I didn't even think about needing it but uh, my husband decided because um, his mom and dad have always used his grandmother's Christmas tree and now that she's passed away because they were living with her taking care of her uh, now that they've pa she's passed away and they're in their own home um, 
the house that they live in, the living room has like taller ceilings and the tree looks really kind of small and kind of sad in there. And then mom didn't really want to, I think it was one of those emotional things where you, you don't want to sit at Christmas time and stare at a tree that has those kind of memories. So my husband bought her a new Christmas tree. So which caused a lot of problems with his little sister, the oldest of the two, she was really upset about not using grandma's Christmas tree. So they put it on the back porch um, and like she wouldn't, she did not want anything to do with a new one, but she's, she's moving on. She's getting better. It was hard. You know, she grew up her whole life with her grandparents, but that's a story for another time. <laughs> Anywho, my husband ended up deciding because we had tall ceilings in our, um, living room and in our, um, sunroom that he was going to get a new Christmas tree. And I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I love Christmas almost as much, if not more than fall. I am a huge fan. I love buying people presents. I love giving gifts. I love seeing people's faces when I get the perfect gift for them. It's just, it's my thing. Anyways, and I love decorating for Christmas. It is my jam. So he bought me a nine foot Christmas tree. Original one was six feet tall, which, you know, pretty standard. But our cat did like try to knock it over every single year that we were in. Um, my we rented my dad's house from him when he moved to St. Louis. Anyway, long story again. But so, you know, now we have the big Christmas tree, and I want to protect it with everything that I have because I love it so much. It's so big, and like the lights are so bright on it because it's pre lit too. And he got a crazy good deal on it because he got it like. I don't know, like a week before Christmas too. So I had to take all the decorations off of the small tree, get more decorations because I had three more feet of Christmas tree. And the new Christmas tree, the big one has like really, really sharp um, ends to the bristles is what I call them. Like I know they're the branches of the Christmas tree, but they're like bristles. And cause it's a mixture of two different types of artificial Christmas tree, which makes it really fluffy and full and really nifty. Um, but you know, it's, oh, I love that Christmas tree so much. <laughs> Anywho, here's me, uh, trying to figure out what kind of, uh, tile to put in the bathroom. I struggle a little bit with, um, the tiles and the showers and things like that. Oh, hey, there was Trainer Tipsnick. We, we used to watch his stuff all the time and somehow I've just kind of fallen out of there. Maybe I'll have to check up in him, on him. Anyways, so... But yeah, I just, I struggle. I have a ton of good tiles that I could use for it, especially with like the single shower. But I don't know, something keeps not feeling quite right. Maybe I need to look through some more design magazines or something to really figure out what I'm going for in this. I wish I could have like taken an interior design course in college. I feel like that's something that I don't have in common with many YouTubers or at least Sims YouTubers. A lot of them seem to have like some sort of interior design or architecture um, degree or graphic design degree. And I'm just like, I wanted to do art my whole life, but I knew it wasn't going to pan out and pay for anything. And so I went to the medical field because we always need nurses and, you know, ultrasound techs and things like that. So and now here I am trying to make pretty things on YouTube and I didn't pay attention to this part of art class. <laughs> Fun fact about the Angry Simmer, I took four art electives before the end of my sophomore year of high school. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was so useless because I kind of had an attitude um, towards it as well. Like the first class I took was with my teacher, Mrs. Gurrier, and she was incredible. Like if you guys have ever watched, um, the magic school bus, she looked like, uh, the teacher, Mrs. Frizzle and was just really incredibly talented and silly and playful. And like my other favorite teacher, um, Miss Hamlin, she was her best friend. So they were like these cool hippie teachers that just, I don't know. Um, at one point, Miss Hamlin let us know that she went to Bob Marley's house on vacation. Like she didn't get to go in when Bob Marley was alive, clearly, but she still went in and she's like, it smelled great, kids. And then um, <laughs> I think she said like she was supposed to go to Woodstock, but her dad wouldn't let her. Like Miss Hamlin, Miss Gray were the coolest people ever. But then I ended up with a different art teacher 
Um, I think his name was Mr. Jones. I can't remember. And he, like, in retrospect, he was a cool dude. He had, like, a stormtrooper action figure, like, full life-size stormtrooper in his art class. He was pretty cool. But I was so upset that I didn't get Miss Geary ever again for a class. So I'd sneak out of his and just go and sit in her classroom. And Miss G would always be kind of cool about it. She'd just like, oh, you know, so-and-so's over here working on their project. No big deal. I'll watch them for you. And, uh... Yeah, so, <laughs> uh, you know, sorry, Mr. Jones, if for some reason you're watching YouTube videos about Sims, I know you're trying to teach me, and I didn't want to listen. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, Miss Gray, you're still awesome, because I feel like you would actually watch YouTube videos. Um, <laughs> that's so weird to say, because Miss Gray is, like, significantly older than Mr. Jones. Like, I think Mr. Jones was probably only in his early 20s when he was teaching, but, you know. Miss G was cooler. <laughs> so I'm going to stop talking about my high school years because they were a long time ago and continue talking about Fixer Up or Willow Creek over here. I do have um, one other house finished and I have it like ready. I've got it edited. I've gone through. I've added music. It's just I got to do another voiceover for it. So I'll just go ahead and... I don't know, do one or two more houses today. I need to get on the ball. It's Wednesday and I have, I need to finish the voiceover for this clearly, clearly. And then I need to do the next voiceover. But that means I have, you know, next week's videos done, but I need to have stuff ready for the next week following because if I don't, how am I going to stick to what I want to do. Oh my gosh, speaking of what I want to do, here is me trying to put in a closet closet in The Sims. Okay, listen, Sims team. I have never in my life just had a dresser. I don't know where you guys live where you don't have closets, but could we please get some sort of like closet like non-CC closet set up because unless you live in like a really, really old house where people didn't have closets, no one, no one just has a dresser. I mean, some people do, but come on, do better. You can do better. Make it more realistic. This is a life simulator game. There's nothing crazy about having a closet. Like you did give us one, but it's kind of ugly. It, you know, and here's me trying to put a shelf in. That's another glitch. Like, I feel like if I'm clearly trying to keep pushing through a, a wall, you should allow me to scoop back some and put it into that room. Because otherwise, I can't hang a shelf in there like I want to. And I eventually give up and I just take down the walls and I have, you know, this be just a niche I guess like there's still a wall on either side, but there's not a front wall where there has to be an arch. See? Yep. I shouldn't have to do that Sims team. That shouldn't be a thing. Like make it where I can have a closet. There's no reason to not have closets in the Sims. Like we either have to have just dressers or we have to make a full walk-in closet so that it works so our Sims can use their dressers. You know, Make it realistic. I want to see an animation as well of like the Sim, like sorting through their clothes, pretending like they're not like a cartoon character who only wears one single outfit all the time unless they're, I don't know, crazy creator like me switches their clothes all the time because I do that for some reason. Um, I will say that I love this cheat where I can like nine key and lift up stuff that thank you for putting that in. At least I'll be gracious about that. That was very useful because I like to play stuff where you apparently don't want me to place it. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm a weirdo. We've talked about this. But hey, if you guys like the weirdness, hit subscribe because then you can get notifications about when my weirdness is, you know, at peak weird time and it's posted on the Internet. Woohoo! I will say that other than when I'm making a YouTube video and I'm not around other people, I'm a pretty calm, normal person. Like, I don't just run around my house with uh, pantyhose on my head anymore. I did that as a child. I'm not going to lie. I pretended I was a bunny. And specifically a magician's bunny. So, yay for imagination. <laughs> um, I downloaded that chair there just for uh, a posing thing that I downloaded. 
one of the like Sims poses, Andrew Sims or pose player thing. And then I never use it, but that's because my, uh, teleport any Sim thing is not working. It just, it won't, I can't click on it. I can't do anything with it. So leave in the comments if you know what is going on with that. Cause I'm fairly annoyed with that. Cause it's pretty important. I was trying to do poses for Chip and Joanna for their, uh, like their little icon for YouTube. And it took me hours to get them to go anywhere and look halfway decent because I couldn't get the pose player or the pose uh, teleport any sim thing to work. Why? Why? Please fix your mod, please, because it's very important to me. I can't just crap all over EA. I've got to let the modders know when their stuff isn't working either. But we are coming to the end. I hope you guys enjoy. As always, like and share. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.